If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, welcome you all to this new lecture in continuity for intermediate or advanced level. So, in this lecture, we will be seeing what are the different types of discontinuity, and we will try to explain that features. Okay, then let's see this. Okay, so if we start continuity uh, for advanced level, we are we will be discussing different types of discontinuity. What are the types of discontinuity we have? Generally, two type: type one, type two. You can understand from this one also. In type one, let's first see the definition, then we will explain. In case the limit exists, limit at the the point of consideration is C. At this point, we are considering whether it is continuous or not. So at that point, limit exists, but it is not equal to the value of the function f c. Then the function is said to have removable discontinuity or a discontinuity of first kind. Why it is removable? Because we can remove this discontinuity. We can make it continuous. How we will see. In this case, we refer we redefine the function. We will because it is not equal to that uh, at f c. So we will make the value of f c equal to the limit of that one to make it continuous. How we will do it? Let's see. Now. Now this type is also again can be divided into two types because they are saying it is not equal to F C. One case can be that F C itself is not defined. There is no F C. Then how can it be equal? And another case is F C is there but it is not the same as the limit value. So two cases. So that's why this is two name is there. One is missing point discontinuity. Where F C does not uh, there is they have not given you F C. What is the value of function at that point? Suppose if I uh, where limit exists but F C is not defined. For that particular point, suppose if I say only this much function equal to this, I have given this much. You cannot cancel because you cannot cancel x equal to four because at x equal to four it becomes undefined. If you take limit, then you can cancel. In your smaller classes, you have cancelled it out, but you have considered in the bracket it should be written that x is not equal to four because x equal to four you cannot cancel because you cannot cancel zero by zero. Otherwise, zero by zero if you can cancel, it is answer is one, but zero by zero is undefined. So zero into five by zero. You cannot say answer is five. Zero zero cancel answer no because zero by zero becomes undefined. So that's why you cannot cancel. So it has a missing point discontinuity at x equal to because at x equal to four it is not defined. What is the value of that function? Now that's why it is known as missing point discontinuity. Now you can make it continuous. How? That's why it is known as removable discontinuity. Now let me take limit at that point. If I take limit x tends to four f x, then you can cancel it out because now x is not equal to four. You are going very close to four. Then you are checking what is the value. If you go very close to co four, then your function will go towards eight. Now, if I redefine the function, earlier the function was only this much. Now I am properly redefining it. F x equal to this one if x is not equal to four, and equal to eight because it is. I am making it equal at x equal to four. So I am defining the function now at x equal to four. What is the value of the function at x equal to four eight? So yeah, if I am refining defining this one, then you can draw the curve. So it will become continuous because at x equal to four you will give eight and it will drop plot the curve. So then the discontinuity can be removed and the function can be made continuous. So this is known as missing point discontinuity. Next is isolated point discontinuity. Now here it is exist. These also exist, but they are not equal. You can see. Suppose some function is given as this way, same one. It is this one and now at x equal to four it is given, but it is nine. It is not equal to eight because at x equal to four limit was eight. So limit and the value at that function is not equal. So it has a isolated discontinuity at x equal to four. Now you can again redefine the function in this way by changing this nine into eight. You change this nine to eight to make it continuous. So that's why it is also known as removable discontinuity because you are have a option to change the value of function or define the value of function for a particular point so that you can make the graph smooth. Suppose you are drawing, drawing, drawing. At a one point you cannot draw because you don't know value. Now you have a value here. Now you Draw it, you it will be a continuous function. So in the type two, it is non-removable types of discontinuity. So in non-removable, what happens? You cannot remove that discontinuity. Now what is there here? Limit itself does not exist. Whether it is defined, F C is defined or not defined, that doesn't make sense. But limit does not exist. So if limit does not exist, then you cannot redefine the function and you cannot make it continuous. So that's why it is known as non-removable discontinuity or discontinuity of second kind. Now it can be further classified as suppose this is finite discontinuity. What is finite discontinuity? Suppose I take this function, which is a fraction part of the function. Suppose you want to check the limit at zero. So I will check left hand limit, right hand limit, continuity will checking. So if you apply left hand limit, that is zero minus. So if you apply zero minus, so zero minus, this is almost zero only, and zero minus in the box is less than zero. If you put very small number, less like minus point. Uh, Nine 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 minus point zero 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 one. 
so it will go to minus one output will be minus one so answer is plus one but if you go rhl zero plus answer will be zero because it is slightly above zero so you will take greatest integer it will be zero now let's see limit does not exist because lhl is not equal to rhl so that's why it is known as finite why because the values are given are getting finite even though lhl and rhl are not equal but they are finite values now if you get infinite value lhl rhl if it is infinite then also limit does not exist then it is known as infinite discontinuity suppose this type now if you go for 4 plus if you get put something value which is greater than 4 little greater than 4 then it will be very close to 0 1 by 0 will be infinity if you put something less than 4 also then it is even if it is negative square will make it positive that also is a positive infinity because 1 by 0 will give you infinity in both these case you are getting infinity answer so for infinity also limit does not exist because for limit you need to have a finite value and both ships should be equal so that's why it is infinite next is oscillator oscillator means the value will oscillates between two suppose you have this one now you have a 0 plus 0 minus if you put 0 plus then it is 1 by 0 for positive infinity sign positive infinity will give you you don't know what value it can give it is not actually infinity if you put plus infinity sign output is either plus 1 or minus 1 you don't know what value you are giving infinity is a huge number it will be in which quadrant you don't know so the answer can be anywhere sign output can be any any big number highest number you can go sign is one so it can be plus one also it can be minus one also so if you put then minus uh, zero minus also it is minus infinity so it will fluctuate between plus one and minus one you don't know what will be the value of output of sign because it will be between somewhere because you don't know exactly what value you are giving but if you put minus infinity it will be some negative value if you go plus it will be some positive value. you can think of that too. So that's why it is oscillatory because it is continuously changing with LHL and RHL. Now in all these types of discontinuity, the type 2 discontinuity, FC may exist, may not exist. That does not make any sense because your function limit itself is not existing. Okay. Now I have drawn a function through which you can understand the entire things of limit. Suppose the, my function, the one that is shaded is the graph of the function. This dark circle is also there in that graph that is minus 2. If you give input minus 2, output will be 0. Then this line, but this bubble is not in the point so if you give 0 the output is not minus 2 if you give 0 the output is 0 from here it again starts here again it comes here again this line this bubbles means it is not in the point 4 comma 0 is not a point 2 comma 0 is not a point but if you give 2 output will be 1 that's why this is shaded so this is the nature of the input output of the graph now let's define one by one at minus 2 whether it is continuous or not you can see min little less than minus 2 output is 0 if you go little above out minus 2 also output is 0 so it is continuous at minus 2 because there is no break in the pan also you can see you can come with the same line now f has an isolated discontinuity at x equal to 2 here you see it is isolated discontinuity why because what was isolated discontinuity fc is defined but fc is not equal at 2 if you take limit so it will go to because something little less than 2 it is 3 little greater than 2 it is also 3 so limit at x tends to 2 will be 3 but the value of the function is not 3, value of the function is 1, if you put 2, 1, so that's why it is isolated discontinuity. Missing discontinuity at 4, because 4 minus is also 0, 4 plus is also 0, but at 4 the function is not defined, so that's why it is missing point. So at x equal to 0, you see, at x equal to 0 it is non-renewable, because limit does not exist. If you go for 0 plus, 0 plus little less than, the output is 0, but 0 less than, if you come to little less than 0, you, you, you will land it here. So 0 minus will give you minus 2 answer and 0 plus will give you 0 answer. If you go little above this one, you will output is here only. If you come little here, you will drop here. So this LHL and RHL are not equal. So it is had a non-renewable finite discontinuity. Why it is finite? Because the LHL and RHL are not equal, but they are finite values. So with this graph only, you can understand all this continuity. Now some continuity, discontinuity of the second kind, the non-negative difference between the LHL and RHL is called the jump of the discontinuity now if you see this one lhn and rhl this is one and another one is zero lhn and RHL. so if the difference between these it should be non-negative difference can be zero but it should not be negative that means the difference is one i'm not saying which one minus which one difference this minus this it should not be negative it should be non-negative both are same then it can be zero also so this things the difference between these two either in this case or is this 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 either in these three that is of second type only 
this difference is known as the jump of the discontinuity what is the jump of the discontinuity here the jump is one you can see also the jump of the discontinuity this was mod x uh, box x the box has the jump first discontinuity a second discontinuity third so discontinuity jump is one because it is jumping one by one you can see the difference here the one is the difference the function having finite number of jumps now suppose if i am talking about this to this up to this portion how many jumps are there one two three if i take this portion also then four four jumps are there so finite number of discontinuity then we say it is piecewise continuous then we say okay it is continuous but it is piecewise it is not totally continuous discontinuous from here to here and there are four discontinuous point one point two point sorry one two three three sorry three and then fourth this four point are the discontinuous point but in rest of the other place it is continuous so it is piecewise continuous that means if you take only this portion that is continuous so that is known as piecewise continuous or sectionally continuous function if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section